Hello friends, welcome to our channel Automation Community. The example which we are going to see today is two-way switch for lamp. By the way, it is very common example, but we are practicing it to improve our logical thinking in PLC. So, let me explain you our problem definition. First of all, from the ground floor, when I will press this switch, my light will on. After I will go to upstairs and from the first floor when I will press this switch my lamp should off. Again when I will come back from first floor and press this switch my lamp should on. And finally when I will arrive at down floor and press this switch now the lamp should again off. So let us see. What is its hardware connection? First of all, from the power source, I will connect ground terminal to source sink of digital inputs and 24 volt supply to input of both, both switches. Now, I will connect the another terminal of switch 1 to input X0 and another terminal of switch 2 to the input X1. So here my input wiring is completed. Now on the output side as I have only one output, I will connect the ground of power source to the common and Y0 to the one terminal of LED and another terminal of LED to 24 volt supply. We will see what is the logic required for this programming. Here I have shown the switch and lamps on off status and here I represented it as equivalent binary bits. I consider switch 1 at position x0, switch 2 at x1 and lamp as my output y0. Initially both switches will be open so my output should be off. Now from the ground floor when I will press this switch my one switch will be in closed position and my another switch will be in open position. In this condition my output should on. So it will be represented like 1, 0, 1 because this is close, 0 because this is open and this is again 1 because my output is on. Similarly when I will reach to the first floor I will press the second switch. So now my both switches are in close condition. In this condition my output should be off. So here you can see when the both are one or both inputs are similar my output is off. Again when I will come from upstairs to downwards I will press one switch. So again in this condition my one switch will be in close and other switch will be in open condition. So again my output should be off. So as from here you can see when my inputs are same my output is zero and when my inputs are different my output is on. So if you can visualize it is just XOR gate. So how we will write a ladder diagram. To make the output on there are two paths possible. So what is the first path here? When my X0 is on and my X1 is off. So end means we will connect this both switch in series. Now if this bit becomes on, I want my output to become on. So I will represent it as NO. And when this is off, I want output. So I will represent it as NC. This is the one path to make my output on. What is the other path? So here is the other path. When my X0 is off and X1 is on. So again I will connect two switches in series. Now if this is off I want output. So I will in this line I will represent X0 as NC and X1 as NO. Now either of these conditions are true my output is on. So we will do O-ring of these two branches. So this thing you can see in my ladder programming. And these things will make our output on. So let us start our programming. 
From here, I will open my ISP soft software. First of all, I will click in new button. Here I will click yes. So we will give name to our project. Click OK here. Double click on device comment list and this box will open. From here we will write X0 as switch 1. Double click it and start writing. Switch 1. Press enter and X1 is our switch 2. Similarly, there is only one output which is lamp. So, I will close my device comment list. Click on programs and right click on it. Click on new button. Again here, I will write my program name. Just click OK here. Let us maximize this. This is our workspace. So, as I discussed earlier, we want two switches in series here and in parallel to that another two switches. So, first of all, let us take a contact from here. Bring your cursor to this red portion and when this series switch symbol is appears, click. So, now my one switch is created. Now, as you know, we, we want two parallel paths. So, first of all, let me draw like this. Now, again, I will put another switch in series here and another switch in series here. So, let me give it name x0, press enter. This is my x1, again press enter. This is my x0 enter and this is my x1 press enter so if you remember what we discussed there are two parallel paths to make our output on in the first path x0 should be close and x1 is off and i want output so as discussed i want this switch as nc so select this switch click on space button and from here we will select nc now again in another path we have selected x0 as nc so select the x0 press space button and select nc now we want one output over here for that we will select coil bring your cursor to this red portion and click so our output is created now i will again select pointer come to here and give its name y0 just click enter Click anywhere and you will see device comment lamp here. So friends, this is all about our programming. We will do its simulation and HMI designing in next video. If you want to learn more examples like this, just like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Meet you in the next video.